Welcome to our Chinese Finance and Economy Briefing show. Today, we have some exciting news to share with you. First up, bond traders in China are on high alert as the People's Bank of China gears up to potentially intervene in the bond market. With record low bond yields, traders are speculating on whether the central bank will step in to push yields higher. This could be a game changer for the market, so stay tuned to see how it unfolds. Next, Tesla's stock has been on a roll, marking its 10th consecutive day of gains. The electric vehicle giant has not only erased its year-to-date losses but is also up about 75% since hitting its 52-week lows in April. Investors are clearly optimistic about Tesla's growth potential, and this momentum could continue. Lastly, Alibaba is making waves in the tech world by leveraging generative AI tools to help cross-border merchants. The company is focusing on translation, content creation, and product returns to enhance its international e-commerce unit. Despite rising tensions between China and the US, Alibaba is betting big on AI to drive future growth. Please stay tuned for detailed coverage on these stories. Yahoo US reports that bond traders in China are preparing for the central bank to intervene as yields hit record lows. The People's Bank of China, PBOC, is expected to sell bonds to prevent further drops in yields, with traders setting red lines at 2.25% and 2.45% for 10- and 30-year yields, respectively. The PBOC has already taken steps by announcing agreements with lenders to borrow securities for sale. Despite the current low yields, the bond market has been buoyed by pessimism over China's economic outlook and a lack of alternative investments. Policymakers are concerned about a potential bubble and investor losses if yields rebound sharply. Analysts believe that economic recovery and a shift of safe haven flows back into stocks could more effectively counter the bond rally than bond sales alone. Tesla's stock has surged, closing up about 4% on Tuesday and marking its 10th consecutive day of gains, reports Yahoo US. The stock has erased its year-to-date losses and is up about 75% since April. Analysts attribute this rally to better-than-expected second-quarter vehicle production and deliveries, as well as optimism around Tesla's AI ventures. Investors are also eyeing the development of more affordable electric vehicles, which could be a significant growth driver if Tesla meets its projected timelines. Additionally, the upcoming unveiling of Tesla's Robotaxi on August 8 is another anticipated growth opportunity. Despite earlier setbacks, including missed financial targets and a significant drop in vehicle deliveries, the recent rally has put short sellers at a disadvantage. According to the South China Morning Post, Alibaba Group Holdings International E-Commerce Unit is leveraging generative AI tools to assist cross-border merchants with tasks like translation, content creation, and product returns. Vice President Zhang Keifu, speaking at the Reuters Next conference, expressed confidence in AI's potential for Alibaba despite US-China tensions. He noted that China is on par with the US in AI innovation. Alibaba's international e-commerce, including AliExpress and Lazada, has been restructured into a standalone business to boost competitiveness. This unit now serves 300 million consumers annually and hosts over 1 million merchants worldwide. It has become a key growth area for Alibaba, with earnings up 44% year-over-year in the December quarter. Financial Times, Singapore's state-owned fund Temasek has declared its intention to prioritize investments in the US while adopting a cautious stance towards China. This strategic shift comes in response to the underperformance of China's capital markets, which affected the fund's overall performance. Despite a slight 2% rise in its portfolio value to 389 billion Singapore dollars, 288 billion dollars, in the year to March, this growth paled in comparison to the S&P 500's 28% gain during the same period. Temasek's investments in US and Indian markets were offset by significant losses in China, with the MSCI China index falling by 19%. The fund, which has historically benefited from China's growth through investments in tech giants like Tencent and Alibaba, is now focusing on companies that are less reliant on Sino-US trade. Additionally, Temasek is treading carefully in the AI sector, wary of the hype surrounding it, and prefers to invest through venture capital funds. The fund also faced setbacks with its $275 million investment in the failed cryptocurrency exchange FTX. Moving forward, Temasek plans to increase its focus on India, Japan, and Southeast Asia while maintaining the US as a primary investment destination. South China Morning Post, Honda Motor will cease vehicle production at its Ayutthaya plant in Thailand by 2025, consolidating operations at its newer Prakamburi plant. This decision underscores the increasing challenges faced by Japan's second-largest carmaker in Thailand, 
where Chinese brands are aggressively capturing market share and consumer demand for electric vehicles, EVs, is on the rise. Since 2019, Honda's combined production at both Thai plants has dropped significantly from 228,000 vehicles to less than 150,000 annually. Sales have also been under 100,000 units per year for the past four years. While the Ayutthaya plant, operational since 1996, will shift to producing car parts, the Prakamburi plant, opened in 2016, will handle all vehicle production. Honda, which already exports from Thailand to other Southeast Asian markets, has no immediate plans for new investments in the country. The competitive landscape is further complicated by Chinese brands like BYD, which recently inaugurated a battery-powered car plant in Thailand as part of a $1.44 billion investment wave by Chinese EV manufacturers. Nikkei Asia, Honda Motor has announced plans to halt vehicle production at its Ayutthaya plant in Thailand by 2025, consolidating operations at the Prakamburi plant. This move highlights the intensifying competition in Thailand, where Chinese automakers are rapidly gaining market share and the demand for electric vehicles is growing. Honda's combined production at the two Thai plants has declined from 228,000 vehicles in 2019 to less than 150,000 annually over the past four years. The company's sales in Thailand have also been below 100,000 units per year during this period. The Ayutthaya plant, which began operations in 1996, will pivot to producing car parts, while the Prakamburi plant, operational since 2016, will take over vehicle production. Despite exporting to other Southeast Asian markets like Indonesia and the Philippines, Honda faces stiff competition from Chinese brands, which are expanding aggressively. Recently, China's BYD opened a new plant for battery-powered cars in Thailand, part of a broader $1.44 billion investment by Chinese EV manufacturers in the region. Al Jazeera, Chinese President Xi Jinping has called on world powers to support direct dialogue between Russia and Ukraine as he met with Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban in Beijing. Orban, who described his visit as a peace mission, had previously visited Russia and Ukraine to discuss resolving the ongoing conflict. As Hungary holds the rotating presidency of the European Union, Orban's peace efforts have not been endorsed by other European nations. During their meeting, she emphasized the need for major powers to create an environment conducive to peace talks and called for a ceasefire. Orban praised China's initiatives, including a six-point peace plan issued with Brazil. Despite China's claims of neutrality, it supports Moscow through state visits, trade, and joint military drills. Orban's efforts have drawn mixed reactions, with Russia appreciating his attempts and Ukraine insisting that only major powers like the US and China can mediate. The US expressed concerns over Orban's meeting with Xi, questioning its productivity in resolving the conflict. Nikkei Asia, Chinese AI startups, having secured significant funding, are in a race to find customers or risk being overtaken by tech giants. At a Shanghai exhibition, Baichuan AI showcased a healthcare chatbot powered by its advanced Baichuan 4 language model, which competes with OpenAI's GPT-4. However, the startup faces stiff competition from domestic giants like ByteDance, Alibaba, and Baidu, who offer AI models at lower prices. Despite the Chinese government's support and investment in generative AI, startups like Baichuan, Zipu AI, and Minimax must quickly establish viable business models. Zipu AI, spun out of Tsinghua University, collaborates with state-owned enterprises, while Minimax targets individual users through its Taki app. The global AI industry faces revenue challenges, with Sequoia Capital estimating a need for $600 billion to cover data center costs. Chinese startups must navigate fierce competition and potential acquisition by tech giants like Alibaba and Tencent. BBC China's leading electric car manufacturer BYD has signed a $1 billion deal to build a plant in Turkey, capable of producing up to 150,000 vehicles annually and creating around 5,000 jobs by the end of 2026. This move comes as Chinese EV makers face increased tariffs in the European Union and the US. The new Turkish facility, part of the EU's customs union, will help BYD avoid additional tariffs on exports to the EU. The Turkish government has also imposed a 40% tariff on Chinese vehicle imports to support local car makers. BYD, backed by US investor Warren Buffett, is rapidly expanding its global footprint, with new plants in Hungary, Thailand, and plans for Mexico. The expansion aims to mitigate the impact of rising tariffs in key markets and bolster BYD's position as the world's second-largest EV company after Tesla.
Yahoo US reports that Japanese stocks spearheaded gains in Asia, driven by semiconductor-related shares mirroring their US counterparts. Investors are keenly awaiting Jerome Powell's testimony to Congress, seeking insights on the Federal Reserve's outlook amidst pressures for interest rate cuts and new capital requirements for Wall Street lenders. The Nikkei 225 surged to a record, contributing to a year-to-date gain exceeding 23%. Meanwhile, shares in mainland China and Hong Kong dipped, and the dollar edged higher. Powell's remarks could significantly influence market perceptions, particularly regarding the timing of potential rate cuts. In China, attention is on an upcoming major policy meeting and new liquidity operations by the central bank, which have already triggered a bond market sell-off. Australia's consumer sentiment worsened due to inflation concerns, mirroring movements in treasury bonds. Despite a long bias in bond markets anticipating rate cuts, shorts are slowly resurfacing. The S&P 500 reached a new high, with traders positioning for earnings reports from major banks. Analysts have been upgrading profit estimates, supporting higher valuations. In commodities, oil remained stable, and gold steadied after a recent drop. Key events this week include Powell's testimony, U.S. inflation data, and earnings reports from Citigroup, J.P. Morgan, and Wells Fargo. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email. Lights, dim voices loud, headlines flashing wild. We're in a frame and now, stories told, it's time to plow. Eyes, the truth pursued, understanding woven through. Heartbeats race breaking through. It's the new you Breaking the news Breaking the day Truth and insight our way Every story Every play Live And clear we convey Shadows lift Facts unfold Moments chasing Stories told Heroes feel Breaking the news, breaking the day Truth and insight our way Every story, every play Living clear, we convey Focus black and white Every angle sheds
Inside our way.